Hello everyone. Up to now, we discussed about two things about the self-excited DC generator. In that, we are using no load condition. So by using that no load condition, we are analyzing the open circuit characteristics and as well as the critical speed. Now we will move on to if we are using the load for the self-excited generator. What is what is happened here? Here, the most important thing is. So for example, same thing. What happened when the generated EMF when the flux initially flux have initially flux C is some rated flux due to the rated flux it will it will have some speed due to that some speed the EMF will be generated the generated EMF will apply to the again this field so this is the field resistance and to the load and to the load here the load have very important role here load, load has very important role here here the load should be to generate EMF to generate the EMF to generate the EMF the load resistance will be less than the critical load resistance if so then the EMF will be generated if the load resistance will be more than the critical load resistance the generated EMF will become the zero generated EMF will become the zero so that is the thing when the load is load resistance is more less than the critical load resistance then the EMF will be developed where the load resistance is less than the critical load resistance that is called as the RLC that named as the critical load resistance critical load resistance this is the importance of the critical load resistance okay three things are important the first thing is the critical field resistance second thing is the critical speed third thing is the critical load resistance the important thing is always speed is more than the critical speed and field resistance is always less than the critical field resistance and low resistance also same that is less than the critical load resistance so this is the very important thing that will be useful to analyze the dc generated emf in dc generators next so we have by using the all the points we will write some important points regarding the dc generators so these are the important points that will be very much useful to understanding the to understand the self excited generator important points we have some important points that will be very very useful to understand this in this the first point is so the first point about residual magnetism look at here there must be a residual magnetism in the field poles so generally we have the field poles that should must and should have the the residual magnetism residual magnetism okay which is essential condition it is a very essential condition what happen if the residual magnetism is zero definitely the emf generation will be the zero at any cost okay all the electromagnets possess some flux even the field current is zero that is the thing what happened what is the thing here even the field current is zero all the electromagnets have some flux it has some flux some value it has some value yeah due to the retentivity property the main reason for this is residual magnetism is the retentivity property so in the magnetic properties you have the retentivity property that is the very important case this flux is called residual flux that is called the residual flux which is nearly 5 to 10 percent of the rated flux this is also the important flux. so how the residual flux so we have some rated flux for every machine 
that should be 5 to 10 percent of the rated flux 5 to 10 percent of the rated flux that's why it is very important okay residual flux master should be the 5 to 10 percent so this is about the residual magnetism next second the field terminals must be properly connected to the armature terminals okay we have field terminals as well as the armature terminals such that flux is produced by the field winding should be aced to the residual magnetism for example uh, we have one thing we have some armature is here and here some flux is here flux is here so general armature represents with the a a a and f f f so initially every winding has some residual magnetism due to that some residual magnetism the emf will be generated we can name it as the residual flux due to that so when uh, machine will be started then the residual magnetism will be further uh, field current will be increases and completely generated emf will also be increases when the field terminals field winding is properly connected if the field winding is not properly connected what happen we have to look at here here in this case we have again the armature and it has terminals yeah it has the terminals a and a a two terminals are there and if the field winding is reversed if the field winding is reversed that means f is connected here ff is reversely connected that means the residual magnetism is field winding is reversed so for example so first you should take the f is here and ff is here and windings are reverse a here a is here then what happened the winding is residual magnetism is in this way and sorry here a is there here a is there then current will be coming from the ff then what happened when the current will be coming from the ff then it will be apply the residual reverse residual magnetism reverse residual magnetism then automatically this residual magnetism is removed from the flux then the total flux will become the zero then automatically the generated emf will become the zero okay so that is a very important thing that is the field terminals must be properly connected to the armature terminals otherwise the emf will become zero that is the thing all here the thing is if the field terminals are wrongly connected like this the residual magnetism will loses so this is the residual magnetism will loses there is no build up of voltage voltage will be there is no build up of voltage then separate field winding excite with the low voltage for some time re-establishment the residual magnetism so for that purpose what we have to do residual magnetism will lose to increase that we should give we should take so take some value take some dc voltage connected to this connected to this and excite with that excite with that then again the residual magnetism will be developed the residual magnetism will be developed okay so to develop the residual magnetism we have to excite with the we have to excite with the some low voltage excite with the low voltage otherwise the residual magnetism will not be developed will not be developed that is the thing only so what is that process this process is called the field flashing so for that winding we are getting some residual magnetism the thing name is the field flashing field flashing is a thing it is useful for when loses the residual magnetism the process is by taking the low voltage excite with the winding we will get the field flash okay the next point here the next point is the critical field resistance 
we already discussed about this critical field resistance the thing is is the total field circuit resistance above which generator fails to build up of its voltage that is the thing on if if the resistance more than the critical field resistance okay the generator emf will fails to develop eg will become the zero the total field circuit resistance must be less than the critical field resistance this is the thing only so total field resistance must be less than the critical field resistance so we already discussed about the critical field resistance how we are finding the critical field resistance also we discussed okay so these are the load condition load condition that means critical load resistance next some three important points okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you